Hey guys, and welcome back to another settings video. Now, I know I talk a lot on this channel about how to get better at the game through different tips and tricks and mechanics guides, but one super underrated way to improve almost instantly is just by increasing the speed of your game. And I know it might sound like something small, but things like performance and FPS are actually more important in Rocket League than almost any other game. And that's because Rocket League is so heavily mechanics based. The truth is, you could be unknowingly playing way worse than you should be just because of things like input lag and frame drops. So today, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about how to boost FPS, decrease input lag, and overall optimize your game. But before I get into this, I wanted to congratulate everyone who watches my videos because now only about 97% of you all watching are not subscribed to the channel, which I guess is better than the 98% we had last month. But seriously guys, if you are a part of that group, please consider subbing if you like this video. It's completely free and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's talk about how to boost your FPS in Rocket League. Okay, like I said earlier, I'm going to be going over a bunch of different ways to increase your FPS and decrease input lag. Just as a heads up though, this guide is going to be mostly for PC players, and the tricks I go over will mainly be PC settings, but I'll still go over in-game settings that apply to everyone at the end of the video. So if you've never seen me go over those, definitely stick around until then. Okay, starting with PC settings, the first thing we want to do to boost FPS is close all background tasks. And this might seem obvious, but there are actually multiple ways to do this that you probably haven't done before. Okay, the first way to close background tasks is directly through Windows. So to start, search up background apps in the Windows search bar and hit enter. Then make sure you turn off the setting, let apps run in the background. This is simply going to ease up the load on your GPU and CPU, which should give you a minor FPS bump. The second way we wanna close out background tasks is simply through the task manager. What I recommend doing here is just opening the task manager and then sorting the tasks by most to least intensive by clicking on either the CPU or the memory tab up top. From here, you wanna close anything besides Rocket League that's using up a good chunk of your processing power. Sorry, Google. <laughs> The last thing to do in the task manager here has to do with Rocket League, so make sure you have it open for this to work. Once Rocket League is open, find the task that is using the most CPU, which should be Rocket League, then right click it and go to details. From here, right click one more time and set the priority of this application to high. What this does is it's going to set the primary focus of your CPU on Rocket League, which in theory should give you a minor FPS increase. Another setting that will help boost your FPS, especially if you play on a laptop like me, is changing your PC's power plant. By default, most computers are set to conserve battery and not use all of their resources. But for gaming, you obviously want to have the highest frame rates possible, so now I'm going to show you how to change that setting on your PC. To find your power plan, go to the search bar and type in power options. Once you're there, go to additional power settings and make sure you have the high performance tab checked. This is going to unrestrict your computer's hardware and should boost your FPS pretty significantly, especially if you're someone who plays on a laptop. Okay, the last tip I want to go over to boost your FPS outside of Rocket League is with graphics card settings, specifically related to the NVIDIA control panel. So if you use an NVIDIA graphics card, go to your desktop and right click to open the NVIDIA control panel. From here, if you go to the adjust image settings tab, you'll see an option to prioritize performance or quality when it comes to certain image rendering in your games. So if you want to maximize your FPS, select the use my preference and slide that all the way to the performance end to get the most FPS possible. One more check that you'll want to do here before we close this tab out is under Manage 3D Settings. So go there and ensure that you have your high performance graphics card set to preferred. All this is going to do is make sure you're not using the wrong piece of hardware to run your game. Alright, that is all for tips outside of Rocket League. So let's get into the most important settings now, which are your in-game settings. Starting in the gameplay tab, you want to make sure your client send rate, server send rate, and bandwidth limit are all set to high to make sure you're not limiting the speed that your PC communicates with the Rocket League servers. 
I've also found that the default input buffer feels the most responsive, so I'd recommend going with that if you want the lowest input lag. Lastly, we're going to move over to the Video Settings tab. Starting in the top left with window settings, the first setting here is resolution. And honestly, with resolution, I recommend keeping it on 1920 by 1080. Now, I know this might seem wrong, but there is a reason I don't like lowering the setting. And it's because even though lowering the setting will definitely increase performance, it will also drastically reduce the in-game quality and can even make it hard to just see the ball. So really, only drop your resolution as a last resort to get an FPS bump. The next in-game setting I'm going to go over is display mode. And unlike resolution here, full screen is simply the fastest display mode to play on because it will focus your PC's processing specifically onto Rocket League. Another lesser known tip here is make sure that when you start up Rocket League, you start it up without any tasks in the background. And I say this because if you do something like launching Rocket League while Google is still running in the background, after Rocket League opens in full screen, your PC will still be updating Google Chrome behind your game client without you even knowing. So make sure you don't have anything running behind your Rocket League client. But back to display mode, just to be clear, definitely go with full screen because full screen is by far the setting with the least input delay. While we're on the topic of input delay, the next setting you want to go ahead and turn off is G-Sync. This setting creates a ton of input lag, and in my opinion, just don't use it. On to basic settings though, for the most FPS, we want to turn off anti-aliasing, and just like with resolution, keep your render quality to high quality if you can. Like with resolution, dropping your render quality will boost your FPS, but it will come at a big visual cost. So save it for now and only lower it later on if you absolutely need to. With render detail on the other hand, I have no problem dropping this setting down to performance because the added visual effects aren't essential and can sometimes be distracting anyways. Okay, once you've dropped your render detail, all the settings on the right should update to look just like mine here, which means the only setting left to check is the max FPS setting. For this one, it's really important that you have it maxed out at 250 if at all possible. This is because, generally speaking, the higher your FPS, the lower your input lag. For example, if you take a look at the top right, cutting my FPS in half from 250 to 125 doubles my input lag from 4 to 8 milliseconds. So in short, make sure to max the setting out if you want to get the lowest input lag possible. Okay, those are all the tips I highly recommend you implement to lower your input lag, boost your FPS, and overall increase your game's performance. Now with that being said, there is one last trick PC players can use to increase their performance, and it's something called overclocking. Now like I said, overclocking is the last thing I'd do to increase PC performance because it's the most risky method by far of all methods used to increase your FPS. So I'm going to keep that as a topic for its own video. If you want to find out more about overclocking though, definitely feel free to search it up on YouTube. There are a ton of great guides or comment down below and I can make my own custom guide with overclocking specifically related to Rocket League. Anyways though guys, I hope this all helped you with increasing your game speed, even if you don't have the best PC. As somebody who plays on a laptop myself, I know the struggle, so I really do hope these tips helped. Before the video ends though, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk more about that. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to be coached to GC by me. Now normally I charge for coaching on my Patreon, but if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League completely free of charge. So if you want to enter for a chance to win that, all you have to do is leave a like and comment below with your rank in Rocket League. In all seriousness though guys, thank you so much for the support recently. At the time I'm recording this, we just hit 20k subs and now the channel even has a full time editor on board. Honestly, I could not have done this without all of you, and I'm super pumped to see what we can hit by the end of 2020. That's all I've got though, guys, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.